When it's in half a day. When it's in half a day. Welcome to the Guam Congress building. First of all, I'd like to recognize my colleagues that are here today, Senator Chris Barnett and Senator Jesse Lujan. So just Masi. And I'm very much would like to welcome all the guests that are here today and to recognize the Guam Developmental Disabilities Council for being present during this presentation of Resolution 55-37. So March is Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month, which is raising awareness about the importance of inclusion of children, adolescents, adults with de de developmental disabilities, and celebrating the unique strengths and vital contributions of these individuals. On behalf of Speaker Chalahi and the people of Guam, we like to commend the various agencies who strive to meet the unique needs of the individuals we serve by providing compassionate care, treatment, and empowering children and adults to leave fulfilling lives. Undankaluna Sudus Masi to the Guam Developmental Disabilities Council, the University of Guam Center for Excellence and in Developmental Disabilities Education, Research and Service, or CEDARS, and the Guam Legal Services Corporation, the Disability Law Center for their continuity, for encouragement, and opportunities provided to these individuals that furthers them in living productive lives and achieving their full potential. And I'd like to now uh, present the resolution and have my uh, colleagues also assist. So this resolution is 55-37 COR, uh, sponsored by Senator, or Speaker Therese Chalahi and co-sponsored by all senators of the Guam legislature. It's relative to recognizing the observance of Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month during the month of March 2023 and commending the various groups and individuals for their advocacy and commitment to promoting awareness of de developmental disabilities among our island community. Thank you. Uh, be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of Imina Trenta, Shetty, and Les Latour, and Guahan, whereas the month of March is recognized as Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month and is dedicated to increasing awareness by educating the community on the challenges, needs, and potential of persons with developmental disabilities. Disabilities are a natural part of the human experience and do not diminish the right of these individuals to live independently or to fully participate and contribute to society. Amen. The Developmental Disabilities Assistance and Bill of Rights Act, DD Act, defines a developmental disability as a severe chronic disability of an individual that is attributable to a mental or physical impairment or a combination of both that manifests itself before the individual reaches the age of 22 and is likely to continue indefinitely. In 2000, President Bill Clinton reauthorized and signed the DD Act into law, which maintains state councils and developmental disabilities in each state and territories like Guam to conduct outreach to provide training and technical assistance to shape policies and to promote inclusion to include the establishment of the Guam Developmental Disabilities Council. This act also continues protection and advocacy systems and university centers for excellence in developmental disabilities education, research, and service to operate alongside these councils. The PNA and USEDS on Guam, respectively, are the Guam Legal Services Corporation, the Disability Law Center, and the University of Guam Center for Excellence in Developmental Disabilities Education, Research, and Service, or CETERS. The GDDC, together with GLSC and DLC and CETERS, is instrumental in the advocacy and promotion of programs that allow individuals with developmental disabilities to achieve optimum independence and improve their quality of life. Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month is a time to dispel misconceptions about people living with developmental disabilities and to bring communities together with the ultimate goal of creating an environment that is more inclusive and accepting of our developmental disability population and is also a time for all of us to reflect on the progress made towards improving the quality of life for these individuals and their families. This year's theme is inclusion, access, and equity to promote Guam's citizens with developmental disabilities who have the capacity to lead full, productive, and engaged lives, building a community that is strong in our culture and traditions of love and acceptance. 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Committee on Rules of Ibina Trenta Sheti na Les Laturan Guahan does hereby, on behalf of Les Laturan Guahan and the people of Guam, recognize the observance of Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month during the month of March 2023. And I'm just going to say we should be aware and supportive every month of the year. So let's make that a goal. And commending the various groups and individuals who are some of you are assembled here today and everyone else who couldn't make it for their advocacy and commitment to promoting awareness of developmental disabilities among our island community. And be it further resolved that the speaker, Therese Terlahi, and the chairperson of the Committee on Rules certify and the legislative uh, secretary attest to the adoption hereof. And that copies of this same resolution will therefore be transmitted to the GDDC, the University of Guam, Setters and the Guam Legal Services Corporation Disability Law Center, and to the Honorable Governor of Guam, Magahaga Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero. Sidus Masi and Biba GDDC. Biba! And thank you again for all of your work and advocacy and support. It's always great to see uh, people who struggle with developmental disabilities leading the kind of lives that they're leading, and I know that it's in great part to all of the assistance and support that are offered uh, through all these great programs and through you guys. So thank you so much. Miss Monica has uh, some short remarks. How short? This short or this short? Okay, this short. Okay, so there you go, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm always so nervous having to stand in front of everybody here. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the Tri Agency. Thank you. I'm going to borrow that because I'm going to have to read some stuff. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Tri Agency. Truly. The Tri Agency consists of the Guam Developmental Disabilities Council, Guam Legal Services, and Guam Cedars. From the past times that I've, you know, I've been a chairperson for over several months, several years, and I've seen the, the growth of the council, and I've seen the Tri Agency move together to really create something beautiful for the island of Guam and for persons with developmental disabilities. Um, this year's theme, inclusion, access, and equity, is um, a beautiful theme, especially because this year it was Guam's council that decided to put this theme together. We didn't go with a national theme of um, beyond conversations. We decided as an entity that inclusion, access, and equity is most important for us on the island. Last year, I was reminiscing about last year's resolution, and one of the parents, who is also a service provider, and um, had shared that we need to go beyond just conversation. Conversation has, active, has happened for so long. We need to move with action. You know, this flyer, um, the purple flower, the, the purple area here was actually artwork that was provided by persons with disabilities. And every mark here that shows was their fingerprints. And when they put it together, they started out with one fingerprint. And they decided as a whole group that it was important to show that we are united, that it's important to show that you know, we need to come together as a community to build something beautiful. On the bottom, in the other part of the flyer, you'll see a single um, flower in the inside. One person drew that flower, and he said it was enough. It was enough because he felt that there were still gaps in services. The single flower represented that there is still a need to open up and to build something more beautiful. And so I'm very proud of this flyer because it came from citizens of Guam, locals, Chamorros, people of diverse backgrounds. 
So it makes it extra special. But I also think of those that are going to be graduating this year. Graduation is just around the corner. You'll have kids that are going to be leaving the school system, transitioning to where? To what? Where will they be? As you see those children graduating, I always, I'm also thinking of myself. I'm a service provider, but also a mother of a child who's in the spectrum. I wonder, where will he be? Will he just be in a home? Will he have a job? Will he have family? And when I die, and for many parents out there, service providers, we ask the question, what will happen next? What will happen? And as I was reflecting about this theme, sorry, I'm shaking because it's a very emotional moment for us as service providers, as advocates, as self-advocates. Inclusion is the act of creating environments in which individuals or groups can feel welcome, respected, represented, supported, and valued. Access refers to the commitment to everyone to be included in all programs and in all activities. Equity encompasses policies, legislation, practices used to ensure fair treatment, access, opportunity, advancement for all people, while at the same time trying to eliminate barriers that have historically prevented the full participation of individuals and groups. And yes, Developmental Disabilities Month has been happening for many years. Right now, throughout the countries, throughout the United States, we will all be celebrating in unison, right, this month. Let us remember that there is more to conversation. And I'm glad, Senator, that you are here today because I do realize that there is a new committee on disabilities. And so that is a wonderful stepping stone and I'm so happy that you are here because this committee, I pray, can truly make a difference for our families, for our members here, for our families, for our service providers who day in and day out do the work. Sometimes they do the work for five in the morning, three in the morning, wherever they have, we do whatever it takes. And I've seen you on television many times lately with everything happening. I do watch every now and then what's happening in the legislature. And I see you too, after five or six in the evening, still debating and talking about what to do next. We ask that as policy is put together, that true action is taken. Thank you on behalf of those that are here Thank you so much for the Tri Agency. I would not have forgotten our collaborative partners. I apologize because um, Gumamami is here. We've had um, Department of Education that has always been active. We have Department of Public Health and many other providers that have always opened their doors to the council. Thank you so much. This is Masi, Monica. Thank you, thank you for that heart heartfelt um, a speech and um, you know we're definitely going to take this back to the legislature and I, you're right you know the community needs action and um, you know with um, you know so many of our committees we can definitely assist and you know our doors are always open I think it's important for them the public to know you know we need to to ensure this uh, inclusion access and equity all across the, the community and um, I think, you know, Guam has always been a place where, you know, we exude care. Um, but I think now, a lot of times, things are very challenging in our community. 
and it, it, oftentimes we look inward versus outward. And I think, you know, when we give, it gives back to us multi multiple times. And I'm not just saying that, you know, out of self-interest, but it makes us whole people, right? When we start giving, it makes us our lives more meaningful. And um, you know, being you know having uh, family members that are disabled, I know the the tribulations that you know you go through as caregivers, and you know my heart goes out to to all of you here, and um, you know we are here to support as a body, and you know please please come to uh, to us. Our doors are open, and thank you so much for all the hard work that you you have uh, provided for our community. And so this is your month to celebrate to celebrate the hard work that you've done. Uh, you know, oftentimes it's, you know, it's hard to stop and, and just take in all the work that we're doing because there's so much more to do. And so, you know, really we wanna thank you from the bottom of our heart and from, you know, the legislature. You know, thank you, Sidzuis Masi. And I know my, my colleagues also have something uh, they wanna add to this, so. Senator Lujan. Thank you very much. You know, I. I you know, a lot of times I think it's really us that are disabled, have the disabilities, you know, really, for sure. I mean, I, we live with a, a person in my family, my, my uh, brother-in-law has got disabilities, he's a, a deaf mute, right? But he's, um, um, I tell you, when he gets in your car, he can tell you there's, if, if you need to go get it checked, he's better than a computer. How the heck do you know this? You know, can you hear it? You know, <laughs> you know? but but I tell you, he's I mean, he's a great he's a great mechanic, and so it's really us. It's uh, his sister, my wife, and I who are, who have the disability. He doesn't have any really with that. So again, with with that, uh, you know, and and uh, we learn we learn a lot uh, because you know, as uh, with the abilities that we have, a lot of times we take things for granted. We take things for granted. And when you live with someone with, uh, with, with challenges, you see really that it's really us that is greatly challenged, you know? And we learn from it, but again, thank you again. This is, it's congratulations that again, this month uh, it's, it's awareness, but even more than that, it has to be every day. We have to be aware every day because we are one people. And again, uh, you guys have abilities that we don't and we learn from you on a daily basis. But thank you and congratulations. And again, our, office, our offices are always open for each and every one of you to, yeah, you need, you need a place to work, come to our office. We're right down the street here. <laughs> thank, thank you, Senator Lujan. Thank you, uh, ma'am, for your, your definitely heartfelt uh, comments. I felt those comments. Uh, my mother's brother was uh, born deaf mute and he worked for the Department of Parks and Recreation for 20 years and was able to retire. But this was decades ago, and I agree with you that, uh, you know, we have fallen short. We have fallen short when it comes to supporting uh, persons with disabilities, and we need to do more. If, if you're wondering where your son is gonna go after high school, is he just gonna stay home, then I have to say we've failed, and we have to do better. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done um, with accessibility issues. You know, persons with disabilities uh, lack true access across the island and the story that we hear is it's just going to be too expensive uh, to do the right thing to create access for persons with disabilities and, and I would say that no cost is too high when it comes to elevating all of us to a, a basic standard of living and Senator Lujan is right there's so much that we can learn uh, from each other and I'm going to be convening a, a round table with the Guam Department of Education, the Special Education Division uh, next month. Again, if you guys have concerns, please uh, reach out to the office. And let's, uh, let's work harder uh, to not just, you know, give a resolution, but to support uh, persons with disabilities and the organi organizations that serve them with the funding that they need to carry out the goals um, that we all need to reach uh, as a community. And so. Uh, I commit to be steadfast in our support of persons with disabilities. I know that uh, a lot of us here have been big supporters of the Special Olympics, and, and so programs like that, Guba Mami, of course, Setters, and uh, all of the, the tri, uh, what did you call it? Tri agencies that are involved in uh, really just the day to day, right? And I, I think that maybe you guys don't get the recognition that, that you deserve, but you know, my mother was a caregiver too, and. Uh, sometimes you have those days where you're just looking for that reward, right, for the hard work you do. It's very selfless. 
uh, endeavor. And I just have to thank you guys. I know that you guys are facing tremendous challenges uh, every day and just really trying to bring those loved ones who suffer from disabilities and your families uh, just uh, to enjoy life as we do, you know, because it's, it's what they deserve. No matter how you're born and no matter how you're brought into this world, we all deserve to have a, a, a good standard of living, you know, whether you have disabilities or not. And, and we're just going to commit to you guys as, as this body that we're going to work our damnedest to make sure that we do deliver. And, you know, not just with words, but like you said, with action. So thank you again, guys, for the hard work that you do. God bless you. concludes our presentation uh, presentation of this uh, resolution again uh, thank you and uh, don't forget tonight uh, it's must see tv with the governor of state of our island address at 6 30 right here at the guam congress hall so do this on behalf of my colleagues and of course everyone present here today Esta adios.